okay, so we've got the, um, I've decided to invest in this, the, the Tamiya Craft Tools Model Cleaning Brush Anti-Static. Um, mainly because in my display cabinet there's a gap of about about a centimetre actually, um, and the dust the, the the dust seems to go into it and fan out, um, and uh, and you're forever cleaning the glass. But I'm really really scared to clean the models that are actually in the line of of this um, this gap, and I wanted something to, to I had to look at obviously a lot of little brushes and that, and then I was just cruising round. I think it was E models I got this from. Um, and I suddenly saw this and I thought, oh, I'll give that, it's expensive, uh, but I'll give it a whirl because I really don't want to damage my models uh, once I've built them. So I thought, well, if it works, it's definitely worth the, uh, the investment. Uh, now, uh, I also um, clean my models before I uh, spray them, give them their, their colour, because what I do is I put the base down. Um, usually I build it, put the base down, and then I usually leave it at least one or two weeks after the, the primer's gone down to let that really set and harden. And then if I knock it, the primer doesn't come off. Um, and so because I've usually got two or three builds on the go at the moment, it doesn't really matter because while that's doing drying, I can concentrate on another one. It's especially important when you use uh, Vallejo, uh, the uh, polyurethane primers as well, because the longer you leave them, the harder they go, the much better they are, the better they work. So I'd like something to, I've got a brush at the moment, which is uh, this brush here, uh, as you can see. Now, this is uh, just a, a normal, paintbrush it is it's nice and soft but it is a bit hard there's a you know quite a bit of resistance there and I have knocked a couple of things off with it so I wanted something that was really really soft and hopefully uh, this was going to do the deal but so I thought I saw this and I thought and I bought this so let's have a look at it so we've got obviously it's nice Tamiya packaging um, Tamiya uh, our their tools are all high quality they're all expensive like their, their cutters and every single Tamiya tool like tweezers and things like that um, are very expensive um, and you think oh I'm not paying that when I can get cheap knockoffs off eBay for like a pound or something like that but you tend to get what you pay for in this life um, and uh, I'd rather pay a little bit more get something that's going to last a lot lot longer and um, help me build better models and things like that so as you can see it's a nice little packet and everything um, just tells you a bit about uh, everything on the back how to use it what's included and things like that. Most of it's in Japanese, but there's an English section as well. Uh, on the front, obviously it looks really nice. It's the Tam usual Tamiya stuff. So let's have a look inside. And as you can see, it is attached to the card. Uh, now, it comes with this nice little thing that you can pull out. Now, first thing I notice about, I, I, you won't be able to see this or understand what this is like on screen, but I can't even feel that. I would literally, I can just feel something touching my skin. It is so soft, it's unbelievable. Now, if you can, uh, let me get the little... Okay, here, okay. Now, on this background, hopefully this will pick it up. You can see this, there you go. You've got this outer layer of bristles, and then you've got this inner layer, and these white ones here. Now those are the anti-static ones that pull all the dust up and make it stick. And this is, I mean, I can't get over how soft this really is. Um, I mean, it is, it's lovely, I'll tickle myself with it. But um, I mean, it, is a, it feels really, really nice. Uh, and it's, it's lovely made, it's in like this metal, metal case and everything. And you can pull this off and then it's got a little brush inside there as well. Now, this is soft as well, it's still softer than this one even this little brush here which looks stiff and it is stiff but it's soft now something like this um, again as you can see here yeah. okay it's quite stiff but it's still very soft now this is um, obviously to, to do uh, panel lines and things like that to get right into some grooves that maybe this wouldn't get into I mean this is so light um, I mean it is really light it's <laughs> it's really so soft it's unbelievable uh, but this will get inside your, your deep recess parts and things like that just to clean them out if you've got some heavy dirt. So it's really nice. I do like the case that it comes in. Uh, the only thing I would say, it would be nice to have a proper cover for that rather than, than this because uh, this won't last five seconds. Although actually, actually, no, it's not a soft plastic. It's quite a, quite a resilient plastic. Um, I think if you keep it in there, it keeps its shape and you're not going to bend all the hairs and things like that. So I will keep it like that. Um, I probably won't keep it on there. But um, 
uh, I, I do like that. You can pull it out through the bottom there. It doesn't make any difference at all. But I really think that that is going to make a difference. Now, I've tried it on a model. Um, I've got this armor fast Jag Panther here that's been sat uh, on the uh, on the shelf for God knows how long, and it is got a nice layer of dust on it. Now I doubt if you're going to be able to pick this up. I'm just going to go over it, and you know, I there could be numerous aerials on that, and that wouldn't even touch the aerials. It'd be, I don't know if you can see, but that dust has come off really well, and it is really really well I mean I wouldn't normally get excited about a brush but you can really you know get into all the nooks and crannies with this and it has taken a whole layer off um, we just do this little bit here but yep yeah. I mean that's great, you can get right inside those little notches in there that there might be a little bit of dust sitting in there, which is going to ruin your paint if you put it on. But yeah, overall I think that's a cracking model. So I think that's uh, a really nice bit of kit and I've got to say, I think it was £18 which I've obviously flashed up already. Uh, but I really like that, I've got to say that um, you know, I, I, I'm denied about buying this for a long time, but my models were just getting so dusty in the cabinet, which the whole point of getting the cabinet was that I didn't have dusty models. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I'm going to have to get a little bit of plastic to go down the middle, I think, something really, really see-through. Um, and something that's not going to notice too much or get new cabinets. Um, but um, this really is worth, I think it was about £18 in total, it really is worth the money. I've got to say, it's a lot of money for a little brush, but it is a spectacular as far as uh, dusting brushes go, it is quite spectacular. Um, and it's really well made, it's a nice bit of quality, as I say, and it's obviously the usual Tamiya good, goodness in that. Um, but I, I thoroughly recommend that. If you've got a problem with dust, you really can't beat one of these. It is so soft that, you know, you could paint that after five minutes of painting, go with that, and literally it's not going to touch the paint at all. It is so, I can't, I can't explain how light that is until you actually buy one, you won't really know. But I would definitely say that's a recommend from me. Go and get one. Uh, they're expensive, but definitely worth the money. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed that. Until next time, bye bye.